Hello everyone, it's Amy, and here it is, our completed storage box that we started this morning. And the only thing that I had to do after the other video cut out was put in the top support and the top shelf. Now remember I said I thought we would have extra space and that we might have another shelf on top? Well, this one did not actually have enough space to put another shelf, but it is good to keep everything tight. And so this is the top shelf that we would have put in. And I put in three more pieces of foam core, being that they're a quarter of an inch thick. That would be we had three quarters of an inch left, and that wasn't enough to put another shelf. But this is, those are all of the boxes that I had to put in it. And when I put them in, there was extra space in the middle. And it was just exactly enough room to put these little boxes. So I just slid one of those in there. Because you know we can't waste space. And that is the box that we started this morning. There is a piece of wood there on the bottom that I have actually not attached yet. And what I'll do is I'll put some glue on the bottom and put it on there. And then I will tape it with masking tape. So Because masking tape is the best tape to be able to decorate on top of. Uh, things like to stick to that where they don't really care to stick to the packing tape. Um, and so you have to be more careful with the packing tape. But that is the box that we started this morning. All told, it took me probably an hour to make, hour and a half at the most. And um, I think it turned out really well. Now it does need to be decorated. And I did tell you that I would show you some of the other boxes that I've made. So all with this same theory. I made this box here. And this one is four of those little white boxes wide. Again, I started with a postage box that was thin and um, I used the same technique. Put the You put the support around and you put the shelf in and another support and a shelf and it went all the way up. I had another box that was just a little wider so that one was made exactly the same way and that one has five across because it was a little bigger and this one did have a bit of a shelf here so I could put like three uh, inks in there, ink pads or all sorts of things could be put there so I did leave that space. Um, these ones were decorated with tissue paper and glue and then painted and then um, rub and buff just to give them a little bit of gold and because they're skinny boxes they are sitting on feet which is a piece of wood again that I taped on with masking tape and decorated it exactly the way as the rest. The only thing to remember with this is don't ever spray paint foam core because foam melts if you spray paint it. So that is one on the same order as what we just made. And then this is one that I'm working on right now. My big nemesis is ribbon. I can't figure out how to store it. So I have made this storage box, again, exactly with the same premises. It has shelves in it. It has the supports that go down the side, across the back, and up the front. And with this one, I get this... Um, ribbon from China and it comes like on a styrofoam well, let's see we can see it here maybe it comes on a little styrofoam center well the the ribbon always wants to kind of come off the styrofoam and you know if you just hang it it next to a bunch of others then they all unroll at the same time um, I just hadn't found a good way to store it no matter you know I mean I had it on dowels but it was just a mess it kept coming unrolled. I hate to tape it. I hate to pin it. So what I did with this is I um, I built the same box. Just I made four shelves, just like the bottom. And then I made this shape with this little part sticking out here as a divider between the ribbons. And I put one of these of foam core on each end. And then I just cut them out of cardboard. This is the one that I traced. You should always, whenever you're making something over and over again, you should always have one to trace um, because otherwise they'll get larger and larger as you trace each one. So, you know, and I made like, I don't even remember, a couple hundred of them. So it would have really been off by the time I was done had I not used one pattern. But I put this little foot on here so that, for two reasons, so that the ribbon would stay separated, it would stay, each would stay in its own spot and not touch at all, and so that I could put this front piece and it sets on that foot. And that's just a piece of foam core that I put across the front. 
and set it on those feet and then I put a piece of ribbon around it and tied it in the back which actually I'm going to velcro it on the sides when I get to it and then I'll decorate the box but it all just hangs there and you can just reach in and grab one and pull it out cut it where you want it and let it hang down that one I put on a 2x6 board because I wanted to have enough room for the ribbon to hang down um, I didn't want it flat on the shelf Here's another one that I made. This was a wine crate that my daughter gave me. And um, so it's just a really nice heavy wood box, but I needed the dividers inside. So again, exactly the same premises. Um, you know, I made the shelves and I used this for all of my um, pencils. And at the very bottom, um, I did them thinner to hold my, um, yeah. We all know what those are, right? Spectrum Noir markers, that's what they are. Um, and so, and I did it, I divided it so that they could each be in their color group the way that I got them. So that was, that's another way that I've done it. And then, everybody's seen these. This is one of those cassette racks. I made this one. And this is two stories, again, made exactly the same way. We've got the foam core. This one does have a wood base. This is the bottom of the box, um, and it's got the foam core around with the shelf set in here. And again, the foam core around with the shelf at the top and at the bottom. And then for these, because I, I wanted these little round things to fit in here and stay, I took three sheets of foam core, taped them together, and cut a hole in them so that these would sit inside of there. And to decorate these, these were covered with um, aluminum tape. So that's those, and I've done a few of those. I did one for Amanda that's smaller, and those hold my small charms. These are my bead boxes, and I had these boxes here. Again, exactly the same thought. These ones are done this way, in this box, and it fits. I had this box that was bigger, and it wouldn't fit enough going this way, so I did them up and down. And, um, but again, exactly the same thought. Build your dividers, put in your shelves, and do it exactly the size that you need it. Here is a storage box that I got from my local grocery store. They were throwing it away. And it was this green part here. So I wanted to be able to put, I had these little containers, and I wanted to be able to put those in there. So all I did was in the sections, in their sections, again exactly the same way, a base, then a support, a base, a support, a base, a support, all the way up, and there was a little bit left at the top, so I have some little things stuck in there. Remember how I was saying how strong this is? These are, and this is heavy, this is a good size thing, full of these uh, beads, or li the little flatback beads, and it holds those. I mean, this whole shelf all the way across has got some really heavy stuff in it. And it holds really well. Um, another one with some larger um, containers. Just made it fit. These are all, not brads, eyelets. And so um, I made a little bit larger shelf at the bottom to fit my eyelet setter so they're all in the same spot. Here's a little one that I did. It has the aluminum tape on it but hasn't been painted yet. This one holds little tiny flat back pearls, and again, put the foam core there. But again, this was built exactly the same way. Um, it just makes for really strong support. So these are all the different types of things you can, no matter what type of storage, small storage that you have, if you want to make a container for it, you can use this system and make a container for anything. And it will work, so long as you make sure that you put your supports on it and then your shelf and a support and a shelf. And when I get done with the ribbon holder, if I ever actually get it done, I'll come back and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But thank you very much for watching. Again, just this morning, we made this one and it turned out really well. Thank you. Bye-bye. And have an outstanding day.